Yeah, you know what I mean? You can <laughs> right. only remember when you got black. Exactly. Try remembering what you were before you were black. Right. What you're supposed to be. You got something to do? Oh, I was saying about the, you know, the simple things in life. And then it was contradicting to the part of um, being what you want to be. Right. And then aiming for you know, the best in life. Right. You can't be satisfied with the, with the simple things in life if what you are is the greatest thing on earth. Right, right. straight. <laughs> Not simple. Yeah, right. right. So, the other one um, that you were about was uh, all, all of the gems outside of the shoulder. Mm. Which means they haven't examined the right? Right. They're still on, because they're still on the by black or whatever, right? Right. right. It's part of the word. It's part of the word. guys that, you know, if you're in the black, you know, you're in the positive, not the negative, you know, when that's not, that's a fiction. Being in the black, whether it's consciously, whether it's in whatever, is not real. You know, you can't be in the red or the black in a debt system. You're always in the red in a debt system. You know, there's no um, buying black in a debt system because <coughs> whoever has something black to sell, more than likely they got it from the people who are in debt. You know? <laughs> right? Yeah. Right? Set, selling rotten meat and everybody's rushing to buy it because, you know, it's cheap. Right, right, right. Like, it expires tomorrow. <laughs> you know? Right? You know? And all these, all these little, um, all these little, uh, you know, analytical things that they hate the Moors for, you know, pointing out these little, you know, tendencies that our people just go with, just because, you know what I mean? Like we, 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 um. By, by putting this information out the way that that we put it out, you know, we've taken away a lot of, of power from a lot of people who were abusing this information. You know what I mean? There's there's been many of our our leaders who have told our people about the history of the Moors, the best that they can with what they have, right? Um, one of the most prominent was Ivan Van Sertum, because he never played with, you know, whatever. He put it out there about who we are. So they came before Columbus and all this type of stuff. You know, even though he was speaking from that perspective of, of um, you know, the Moors over there, the ones that whatever, and not including himself in it, Right? 
it was explained that he did that because of trying to save tenure. If he talked, I'm a more. He, um, whatever books that he has out wouldn't have came out. You know what I mean? It wouldn't have came out just because there's there's a there's a, a systematic um, plan to get the people not to accept what the Moors say. You know, and 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 that plan is being implemented on not just physical level. You know, they're taking it into the other levels now to make people not get down with what's going down. You know, if, if um, people are going to say whatever, but if you've seen the, um, if you've seen the, the little wing picture just came out, with him pulling this one. Well, since when little wing uh, down on from, like, what, what, where, where did he just jump on that? Right, and then people are gonna show, you know, oh yeah, well, he kissed this guy. You know, he can't say, uh, not really. It doesn't really work like that. But it's birthright. And when truth bat hits you, believe me, you wake up. You can't avoid waking up once you get a little, a little powder of the truth. You're definitely gonna change some stuff that, that you're doing, right? You know, like we were talking, I was talking with somebody last night about, um, with, with, um, with Bill Cosby. You know what I mean? They done killed his son already. What more are you going to do to, you know what I mean? Like, because you want to buy a TV station? That's it. They're going to go that hard at a guy because he wants to buy a TV station or start his own or whatever. The Oprah did it. How come you guys not kicking Oprah's ass? She has her own network and all that stuff. You know, she's the line. right? Bill Cosby would not tell the line. Because, you know, he got slapped with the truth back. Yeah. It's all she got. Oh, yeah? Yes. And like, yes, too. Yeah. The younger dog, the, the, the dog, Bobby, 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 yeah, you? Yeah. What? But you know, yeah, she yeah. Does. That's news. I don't hear about that. They found her in a bathtub. Same day that they, they found her in the same way. Same way, same way. Yeah. In the bathtub, all that. Yeah. Wow. They didn't say we're doing that, no? Actually, take those ones right there. On, on the, that's it, under the shirt. Yeah, they got her. Yeah. They got her. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I didn't know that. That's new. That's not the biggest ritual. That's new, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that's a ritual if something ain't a ritual. Yeah. Right? You know? more, more tactics again. Right? Oh. Intimidate people from getting their, getting their mind right. You know? <laughs> so when when we have you know things like this going on right when we have things like this going on and our our people take the position of not accepting the reality, right? Siding with the fiction. Oh, yeah, you know, she died in the bathtub. Oh, this banker, you know, he, hang, he hung himself, right? You know, off something, you know, 20 feet up or whatever, you know? Oh, this guy shot himself in the head two times. <laughs> Right, like, and people go with that. It lets you know where they are. You know what I mean? It lets you know the change that has to that has to happen. But that change is only going to happen with individuals who 
have have their eyes wide open and they're willing to see something. They're willing to 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 um, institute some change, mainly with themselves before anything else. Because the the uh, like like we say that that our our conditions that we think are so negative, bad, or whatever like that, we created all those things. It's not it's not you know what I mean the 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 white man why we're in whatever we're in. It's ourselves. Not recognizing really what it is that we've been doing for the past 60, 70 years, talking black. Talking about, yeah, this one month we're going to celebrate our culture. After that, you know, we could do whatever. You know, but they call themselves black 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 52 weeks a year they call themselves that. But there's this one month they're going to celebrate themselves. You know, and it, it's, it's our job as Moors to put an end to those thoughts. Not for those people, they're going to do whatever. For those who don't want to be down with the fiction. For those, for those who want to be, want to be um, out of the statuses that got us in the positions that we're in right now. The, the law dictionary is somewhere on here. Yeah, check on um, ward or wardship. Right? So, uh, you know, usually, as usual, we got um, our free, our free paper, Metro News, and twenty-four paper, and all that stuff. Um, just to put some articles out there, so that people can see that this is not the the, the violation of rights is not a quote-unquote black issue anymore. It's an international thing now that people are be being violated, right? And it's an international thing now that um, governments are corporate. You know, governments are corporate worldwide, not just over here now, not just India, not just these places where colonizers went and called a name of somewhere and made a corporation under the guise that it's a country, right? It's it's a it's a um, it's a cancer that's rampantly spreading, and it's spreading to those individuals who aren't shielded by their ancestors. Because the, 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 the point of the matter is that if you leave yourself open, it's no different than people who want to hear about astral projecting, they want to try it. Well, when you leave your body, you know that something else could take your body. With you in it. And you know, when you wake up or come to your senses in the cell that you killed 50 people or whatever, you know, and everybody, oh, he never do that. He was, uh, yeah, they probably had something. You know. And they didn't do an exorcist, which is what the whole point of this is is to exercise all these demons that we adopted from wherever. Christianity, we adopted some praying, oh God, please, whatever. Well, God is God could be a demon, God could be a devil, God could be God is anything that's worship. So once once you're not once you're worshiping it, it becomes God. Once somebody's worshiping it, it becomes God. It doesn't have to be you. So as soon as, you, as soon as you put the energy out there, pray God, and you're not specific who you're talking to, all these entities are like, oh. See who's gonna open the gate for. And once they attach to your aura, you're done, you're done for. That's who, that's why, like, that's why the, you know, dealing with the law is so important because everybody knows that okay, yeah, we go back to Kemet, but everybody forgets that Ma'at hold the skills of justice, which is law. Balance the heart and the feather. That's law. How are you living your life morally? Are you living it lawful or unlawful? If it's unlawful, then heart's going to weigh more than the feather, and obviously, you, you know, you got to go check Anubis or whatever. You know what I mean? You're right. Um, so this was an article. Um, no good deed goes unpunished by law enforcement. 
And the caption of the picture here is, Sergeant Al Lerner speaks with Arnold Abbott, a 90-year-old chef, as he warns him that he would be cited for feeding the homeless in violation of a city law in Fort Lauderdale. So they're, they're arresting people, giving people tickets or whatever for feeding homeless people. That's, that's the, the level. Right? Even, even worse. Right? You basically have to be on your own private property. Right. That's a lot, yeah. No, for a lot of it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. The new criminal. You know, the new bull. The new bull. Right? For um, people who are outside. For people who are outside Canaan land, uh, this is this one. This one here is more to get um, our people to realize the fraud of the things that they have here, right? So um, this article is Judge OK's Charger Challenge to Police Strip Searches. A charger. Legal challenge alleging that level three strip searches by Toronto police discriminate against Aboriginal people is going ahead after a judge denied an attempt by Toronto Police Services Board and four officers to dismiss portions of the claim. In a decision released Monday, Judge Paul Perel rejected the defendant's argument that Toronto resident Megan Anapo should be excluded because the allegations are a disguised class action. So you know that that these um, so-called officers, they're running from the fact of class action. Right? They're terrified of people coming together and saying, those guys violated, right? Because they know that they know that since since motu proprio, right, which is the order of the Pope, that ultra. Ultravirus statute, which protects so called or used to protect so called, you know, whoever said that they're government, law enforcement, whatever. The ultravirus statute is now null and void, and these people are suable in their, in their official capacity as a whatever they call themselves, and in their private capacity as some guy who. Violated somebody. Right. Watch, watch how you do your arms out. Don't just do it, you know, thinking that you're protected or whatever. Yeah. Right, because you could lose your stuff. That, yeah, that just that they're protected as, quote-unquote, whatever they say they are that's relative to government. That they can't be... What they're claiming is sort of correct. Yeah. No, no, that the ultravirus stops them from getting violated, That's getting sure. sued yeah. by somebody yeah. because, because I'm government official, so yeah. you can't sue me. All those stuff is over. 
If the people hold them responsible. No. Because remember, what they talked about in here, the Toronto Police Services Board, right? That's the that's the people who the people go complain to on the police. Then that's not how you complain to how you gonna complain to their own people. Conflict of interest. Obviously, if you go to them, they're not they're gonna back their boys and say, You're crazy. When he didn't do that or whatever. Right? When they know that that, that that's what's going on. But what if the people aren't but if the people aren't, you know, like we we're saying with regard to the beginning, if the people's status isn't correct, forget class action. You're not winning. And if, and if you do win with, with a, in a dead status, it's, it's only to get other people to get down with the dead status. See that there's some remedy there. So, you know, if, you know the black guy won. Well, now we can be black guys and we can go win something. The only reason why they would push something through, because remember that they're talking about they're talking about charter challenge, right? The charter is the actual document that gives the authority, not all the stuff that's written in there. Just like diploma is a rolled up piece of paper, not the stuff that you got saying, oh yeah, you got 15 credits, 20, 30 credits or whatever, congratulations. Right? <laughs> right? So the charter, the ch when they say, um, you know, somebody challenged the charter and we're going to take it to a higher court or whatever like that, right? It's really a fraud because the charter is the document. That gives the authority. But the charter, if, if they were challenging the charter, the issue would be delegation of authority order. For who instituted this? If they were going to challenge the charter, they're challenging who's the sovereign that set this up? Because the power of a charter comes from a sovereign. But if they're going to say, well, yeah, the queens are sovereign, then you need to go back to the UK or whatever. You can't exercise the queen sovereignty in Canaan land. You can under occupation, but you can't do it just because, you know, you want to. Because as soon as people read the charter, they're going to realize that applies to members of parliament only. And that's in the charter. That people are going to say that, oh yeah, charter gives them rights, charter of rights and freedom, and constitution, act of Canada, and all this stuff. But the reality of, of the situation is that all those documents were set up to create this fiction that we see stand up for national anthem and all this type of stuff, which isn't legitimate. Right? It's not, it's not, who is it again? It's not a nation. Who, who is it again? Castro, yeah, somebody? Sure. Castro, right? Asking the, the um, OAS or whoever, what is Canada? Like, what is it? How come they're, how come they're allowed to be in nations discussion? When we don't even know what their status is as quote unquote Canada. Is it a commonwealth, a colony? Is it a democracy? Is it a republic? Is it a word? We went through all these stuff. Well, what is it? And then, you know, obviously, you know, Stephen Harper, those guys mad at him, you know what I mean? Calling him over, you know, we got an embargo and we got this and that or whatever like that. When it's irrelevant what they say. Especially when when a sovereign's talking. Well, um, 
The, the, the problem that has arose is that the people have been um, pets for so long to these so-called people that say that they're government that now that they want to go, oh yeah, well now, now that we have knowledge, now we're going to go file class action suit, we're going to get all you guys. And then they go to the court to go file the suit. And the same people who they're about to sue, it's their boy that's running the court now. Because that position been sold out. Because they've been so docile. Listening to so-called black leaders tell them about civil rights and this and civil rights and all this type of stuff. That has no power at law. So as soon as they take that position of civil rights, whatever, they're already disqualified. They will go along with the motions. We'll bring you in and all that type of stuff and go through or whatever just to, you know, make some fiat. But really, you know, that's a job for them. Just like Brother Omar always says, you know, when I go to court, they get paid. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's their job. You know what I mean? They're not losing anything by, by you know, us going there and then stuff gets dismissed. They didn't lose nothing. He's still getting his little check or whatever. Again, remember that, you know, it's like you're saying, when when the Moors rule, right? Now that there's somebody occupying, somebody else is occupying that leadership, they they have the power to change things around. But again, it's because of, of the people. Because the people are taking the position that these guys are government. That's why back then, when, when we're in the government, we're scared to win people out. Right, because... 20 years, we're like 10 years. Yeah, and and it, it, it could be worse than that. change in the government. There, there, there's clearly been a change in in how things run. But remember, that only applies what you're talking about. We have 20 piece and brothers getting years, whatever. That only applies to Negro, black, colored people. That doesn't apply to, you know, not to take anything away from doing wrong or whatever, right? But, you know, we know more who had drug charges and stuff like that, that got off because of status. Weapons charges got off because of status, right? Not, 
you know, because, you know, whatever, but, you know, you're looking at 20 years or something like that, you don't stand up on some birthrights. Because what you got to lose? I mean, they're going to throw the book at you anyways. So why not go with, go all in? Right? More just got, you know, did the whole thing, you know, kicked the door in or whatever like that, found the stuff, brought him in. Oh, come on, just, come on, just sign here in the name so we can get you out of here. No, I don't want to sign that name. I want to sign my free national name. But, well, if you don't sign that name, then, you know, the superintendent can't sign off on the release of whatever. <coughs> Who, who's having these discussions with, with somebody you just kicked door in order? They're going to go do their whatever dead time until court date. They're going to get court date, going to go to trial. You had stuff you were going to distribute from bags, all this type of stuff. All right, you're doing five years or whatever. They're not sitting down having no conversation with them through the bars. Or, well, come on, just sign here. You know what I mean? Because we can make this work out and all this type of stuff. They're not doing that with the average person. You know what I mean? And this is recent. This is like last week that we went down. That they had the more. You're sovereign? Oh, no, I don't have sovereign or nothing like that. Free man on the land? Oh, no, no, we have nothing to do with that. So, um, oh, you guys are a patriot movement of the... Look, Oh, I'm more. It has nothing to do with sovereign movement, European, whatever stuff that you guys are trying to tie to what. That's not what this is. You know what I mean? Immediately, they already knew that, okay, you can't play the, you know, whatever with this one. Told them, you guys know, if I use this name, I'm signing all rights reserved, you know, without prejudice, you know, UCC, under threat, duress, coercion, whatever, all this stuff. We, we don't care. We just need that name. So we can get you out of here. Or don't sign the name and stay here until you know you're noticed to appear. Straight kidnapping. And the only reason they did that, the only reason he had that option was because of his status. And he put that up front of the door when they kicked the door in three or you know more. Just know that I want more. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever, let's go. Sitting there handcuffed. And they're, they're, they're challenging him on what he claims he knows as far as more. And the European so called mercenary cop, whatever, he's there backing him. The Europeans backing up his stuff that he's saying. Well, yeah, you know, because um, one of them asked something like, um, um, but everybody's not Moors or something like that, and, you know what I mean? You know, Moors are a specific whatever, this isn't Morocco or some crap like that. Europeans stepped in, like, oh, um, well, actually, you know, everybody's Moors because, you know, the Moors are in Europe and then they, you know, populated all and whatever, you know. European. Badge and all that stuff. In the house. Guns and gangs, task force. Telling this individual who's a more, or telling this um his um boy who's a more coworker or whatever, telling him, putting him on that yo this guy's right. What are you talking about? He's not talking some stupid stuff. He's right. They don't want that lawsuit or whatever it is. You know what I mean? They don't want it because as soon as soon as, as, soon as you know, like, like, they know that everybody's not going to be down with this. Right? I mean, they know it's going to be a select, select group of people that when they stop, you know, they're going to get hit with the, sorry, you have jurisdiction or whatever like that, right? <clears throat> the times before, it's been European. So they've become accustomed to dealing with, you know, oh, free man, you know, just you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But now, this is a jurisdiction that they've never really dealt with. More, you know. Just to back up a bit, um, when you talked about him not signing in the, the, the slave name, if he chose to sign in the slave name, would the R already reserve? Yeah, that's what, that's what he had to do. So he signed to in get the slave, slave name, yeah, 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 yeah. But he okay. signed it, but he's 
but he reserved his rights right. and all that stuff. And then they, they released him without going to court bail and all that stuff. They just gave him a notice. Oh, yeah, you know, come back to court on this day or whatever like that. Average person, you're going to go to court, do the bail. Somebody has to come, call the surety. Surety is going to come. Oh, you can't use them because, you know, they don't got enough job. I and mean, you're in there for another 48 hours. You're going to get somebody else, whatever. When he just told them straight, I'm more. This is my free national name. So how do you Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> so write it before you sign. Yeah, write it before you sign. So take your time. <laughs> now the other thing too is that that's why we have the stamps in the back. Well, you're gonna waste your time writing all the stuff. Cool, they're not gonna let you go get the stamps. Yeah, they do. Hold on a second. Yeah, they do. Listen, I got a video with me on it saying, "Yo, don't let you go get the stamps." I got my stamps. I'll make sure that's real. It's law. You do law. Yeah. No, no, it's not. They would say, "No, you can't." No, but if you do law, you do law. Yeah, anything legal, I know I could use my stamp. This stamp, I've signed my driver's license the other day, and then I. Yeah, 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 ye
we are dealing with 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 a criminal nature of individuals. Yeah, exactly. We are dealing with individuals who are de facto exercising like sovereign. Yeah. So as soon as the sovereign says sovereign, then the de facto immediately loses whatever stuff that he had claiming that we well, have authority to do whatever. Yeah. Because the sovereign actually stepped in now. And took, the, and took the real position as the judge. That's why stuff gets dismissed, because the guy who says he's a judge is not a judge no more. So what else are we going to do here? But get this guy out here so we can continue our fraud with these other people behind him who yeah, yeah, yeah. don't know what the hell's going on. So as Moors, we should be writing that every, every nope. chance we get. Every chance we get, oh, a stamp, whatever. Stamp. You got a question <laughs> in the background? <laughs> Sorry. Say again. Um, the um, the fingerprint thing, I think, was um, part of. I think. Um, yeah, you come. He had to. He has to go back to do that. But then again, the same thing. Like you know, they're, they're not gonna. They're not gonna um, um, not take the prints, right? Because they have their. Wait, what is it? And then take them to the whatever, and then take them to the whatever. But you know, it's if you know that that entity isn't you, and they're trying to tie you to that fictitious entity through put your prints here, or sign here, or whatever. Best thing you can do is reserve your rights, because you don't. You know, some some battles you're not. You know, what I mean, you're talking about sitting in a cell. For 30 days or whatever, waiting for a court date when you can just sign this thing, get out of here tomorrow. Yo, reserve <laughs> rights. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm a straw man, blah, blah, you know, reserve your rights, sign, get the hell out of here. Because, you know, you're fighting as a more. You're not going to be doing no fighting in no cell by yourself in solitary when you have no access to any paper, nothing like that. Anything that comes there, blocking it. Anything that you send out there, blocking it. You can't make no calls. You can't get anybody to send nothing to so, you know, you could really only do your stuff out here. Now, that's not, that's a lot different than, than um, um, the sister with the warning shot who just got released. She was to do the 20 years or whatever, and then they just released her, but they gave her an ankle monitor and, you know, two years probation and all this type of stuff or whatever. That's not the same as him wrong. signing in the name and getting, getting released. It's not the same type of release. You know what I mean? Because one, her status ain't correct. So when she comes out, she's still the fraud. So she's really in jail. Even though she's out of jail, she's still in jail. Whereas he's out of jail, but you know, he's not out of jail as who he signed as. He's out of jail in his free, you know, you don't got nothing on him. Right? And when incident comes back up again, you know. Play the game, you know, and and then and then you know, the the, the whole issue of going to court is that what that is, you know, and keeping in mind that these people that we're dealing with aren't really going by how they're supposed to go by stuff. They're really, you know, they're 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 putting a curtain in front of law and then saying that what they have. Outside the curtain is really the law. When behind them, there's you know stuff hidden that they're not revealing to people. You know, even though you know it's clear that there's a guy back there, feet sticking out from under the curtain and all that stuff, but nobody's not paying attention to that. They're watching this individual in some shape. Yeah, once you once you do something as as straw without reserving your rights, you're pretty much 
unless you know law, unless you know how to how to defend that without a card, without papers, without writs or whatever like that, right? You might be able to back them up in the appeal process. But if you know if, if somebody you know got into something and then they got whatever and then they found out about Mars and now they want to appeal, they're not hearing that. Because <laughs> they're already convicted already. You know, you go through the process, you know, but it might not. Yeah. Yeah, right, right. You know, and then the, sec the secondary thing is, you know, um, wh why, why appeal? Just nationalize. Even under, but you, it just it just doesn't make sense. Yeah. It's like a company. If a company did something, and the transaction is over, you're not gonna go back and say, "Well, you know, I don't wanna." You know, you buy you buy some material from, from the Home Depot. You're not gonna go back years later and say, "Well, you know, I need some of the material." But when you have paid ten thousand dollars, you want to pay get paid. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. When you go to the appeal, you go as a more. You're not going as. Yeah. That, that's what the issue is. That if you're gonna go that route, you better know, because you just came out of saying that you're, you know, straw, and you weren't arguing nothing, and now you are argue stuff now. Yeah. Then you better know. <laughs> Conviction already, yeah. You know, and and and. <coughs> right. I mean, for one thing, what we do is we always go to no no majority and it's for a statement. Leave all business all in the old, and whatever we do now. Do it in your free national name. Free national name. So, in your free national name, you know, it's love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. You're not going to go back and do childish things anymore. You're going to move forward and do what you got to do. Yeah, okay, I did that. But I know tomorrow I will do something different and move forward. Right, that's, that's, why, that's why the more with the door kicked in could, could have went that route because they weren't even coming for him. He just happened to be there. It wasn't his kicking. <laughs> he just happened to be there. You know what I mean? So, and they just happened to find stuff. What not for what they kicked the door in for though? They just have that just happened to be there too, and it happened. You know, so he's like, hey, all right, whatever. You know, let's go down to the station. <laughs> no big deal to me. I don't care. You know what I mean? Because I know that I'm not that entity that you guys are trying to. Right, somebody's gonna talk. You know what I mean? Right. Was there any more um anybody have any more questions immediately? Let me just touch some because we got a couple got about four questions. <coughs> Say that again? Oh, 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 okay. So um Yeah, um um, 
somebody sent me a message saying that, you know, one of the Moors in Canaan land that used to be down with the temple or whatever, um, they were discussing with them. I don't know why they're talking with these people if they know they used to be in whatever, but <laughs> right. So somebody who used to be in the temple, somebody was, the person who texted me was talking to them, and that individual said that, oh, they're, they're not down with this no more because more, more is a European term. Right? So, you know, that's not the real identity, and you know, African, so we don't follow what the white man says, stupid stuff like that, right? When, um, when we, um, show honor, when we show honor to Nobu Ali, you realize how right he is, because the things that he sent us to study would validate his lessons, right? So, Nobu Ali told the Moors that we're Moorish American because we're descendants of Moroccans born in America, right? So the term, the, the term Moor really comes from Moroccan, right? Moroccan is not the European term. They, they have nothing to do with that term, right? It's not something that that they have claim on. Just like Europe, Europe is not something that Europeans own. They can't claim that as oh yeah, you know, European is our term to use or whatever. Nobody else can use that, right? Because it predates their existence, so they have no claim in it to even discuss anything. So for somebody who, now, keep in mind that, you know, if somebody is is against the movement, you know, they'll put anything out there. They'll put all types of stuff out there to get somebody to say, I don't want to be down with that, or that has nothing to do with me, or whatever, right? They'll, they'll do that. That's a pattern of dirty people, that they will speak against They'll speak against the prophet, they'll speak against the movement, they'll speak against anything having to do with um, somebody being inspired by a, a student or Nobu Dwali himself. Right? They'll do whatever that they gotta do. Right? Um, so be be mindful, especially out here. You know what I mean? You might happen to be building with somebody and you know. They start talking all this negative stuff about, you know, Moors and Canaan land or whatever, you know. Next question you should ask them, hey, oh, you, you ever used to be in the temple or whatever? Because if they're out here talking crap, more than likely they were here or they've been against this. Nobu Ali made the statement that, you know, the Moors who were with him back then are with him today. The Moors who were against him back then are against him today. Yeah. Similar. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And we are like a more. We 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 aren't we aren't the Moors. We are specific Moors in the jurisdiction of America. So we're more ish. We we relate to the Moors who everybody knows. Ask anybody about Moors, immediately they say, oh yeah, 1492, uh, 711 AD, Moors ruled Spain, all that stuff. We're not those ones. We're not them. That's the branch of Moors who we know. That's family. Right? They predate us, but we're not them. So we're Moorish. We're, we're pertaining to Moors, but we're not the Moors. Who everybody talks about, everybody knows. We're specifically Moorish Americans. That that's why the confusion is there. Because people want to play this game like Nobu Jolly was some some idiot or whatever. You know, and he said Moorish. He didn't know what he was talking about because the ish and whatever like that, whatever like that. When 
He never said that we're Moorish. He said we're Moorish American. This is totally different. Saying Moorish and saying Moorish American is two different things. But as soon as you start listening to Dirty Moors or whatever like that, that's where they go, down those roads. Try to get people to abandon their profit and abandon their stuff. Why? Because more than likely that person talking crap about more ish is, and don't call yourself that, guaranteed they either have some organization they want people to join, you got to pay fiat or whatever like that, or they have some type of fake-ass nation or whatever that they're trying to pump up and try to take people out of what Nobu Juali brought into their crap to get people arrested or whatever like that for, for claiming to be whatever fraud that they're saying. When there's there's Moors today who use Moorish American and they beat cases. They win stuff. They pay no taxes. They whatever it is that they do under that Moorish American that people are saying is adjective, it doesn't work. Why you call yourself Moorish is pertaining to is it adjective and all this stuff when we already proved that. That's why we make that's why we talk now like we don't have to prove nothing to nobody. We don't have to prove to goddamn people. Yeah, but, yeah, because once you once you start talking, once you start talking law, they don't know what you know. Maybe you know how to go in his bank account and steal everything. They they don't know. They they're taking a big risk. Somebody says, "Oh yeah, I'm a more I know the law." They're taking a big risk kidnapping that person. And if they do get through with kidnapping them, more than likely it's so that everybody else who's watching says. I don't think I want to get down with that because that guy's stuff didn't work. When, when, when in the background, after they take him back to the cell or whatever, they're trying to ask him about how do they not pay taxes then? <laughs> how, how do I get out of this garnishy order? My baby mother is trying to take, you know, garnish my check and all this type of stuff. But they're going to go ask more. Well, after. Yeah. He just away. He says, away from me. Yeah. He probably yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, like think things things aren't told. You know what I mean? Like like you know, like brother saying, in that situation, he could have had them on notice for, for two years or whatever. They could have been known who he is. You know what I mean? And and you know they they know that the so called guy sitting on the whatever, he doesn't have no authority or whatever. He's an administrative guy. The real, the real authority in the court is the bailiff. That's why judge the hey, you know, bailiff, you know, you, this guy, you know, whatever. You know, that's not him taking orders from the judge. The bailiff is the real authority in there. Why? Because the bailiff is a Moabite. A hundred bailiffs is one Moabite. So the real authority is the bailiff. The real authority is the jury. Not that guy sitting there claiming that he has some authority or whatever. The other question though. Yeah, well, I've heard the argument that the Mosaic nation is But you know, the prophet says what over a hundred years ago when Jesus was told about to be the end, and he keeps getting people to look like that, that one was hanging on to the blacks and the Negroes and the colors and whatever else anybody else decides to call us. So they bring up the issue of this to try to throw you off. 
Just on top up a little bit more. Um, just to add on to what you guys say, just to take two off. Uh, what, I, what I discovered as far as uh, my story is that uh, he's the only person that came to free yourself and self power. The only person. Everybody else came to their little dance, but he gave you information that says, you know what, I am empowering you to elevate. Right, and everybody else came after. So I said, he said the trend. So, for everyone that's come to stop and try to stand back and say, no, I'm so sick to the mystic, he's always been a good foundation. Because there are those who came before him, but they never brought freedom and freedom of self confidence. If anyone's going to self empower you, you might as well grab it. Everything else is trying to do with them. And he's the only person that I have seen, and I've covered a lot of things, only person. Their job is to have you validate and teach their vision. So you have to internally hold that information and validate it yourself. So their challenge, you're actually challenging yourself. So you're bringing that into your experience. So you would be like, okay, am I still going to go this way or am I going to go back to who I was? So you're actually calling on this thing to be a good one. I think it's good. That, um, from, you know, I don't try and convince anybody to do anything. I think part of it is a defense also for them. Because even the thing with the ish, as I, I try to explain the more thing, and, you know, I'll ask the question, why is black? You know, and I just, you know, whatever. So they're going to come up with something to kind of defend, you know, the facts that you're giving them. Right. So, and I just don't. So especially educated people, that people that say they're educated and they take those little games, I just leave it alone. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So Oh yeah. 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 The, the the denationalization program mm -hmm. get the people to not be who they are be anything else except Moors why because well, you know the ish and you know more than the slave trade and you know Congo rubber DVD you know Moors had people with guns on them and stuff like that working for the European and all this everybody's trying to get people away from their birthright but again when you check the record just like the brother saying there's no record of Moorish American before Noble Drew Ali. You know, all the all this devilish shit that Moors did, don't tie that to Moorish American. But we're not the same. We're pertaining to them. We're not them. We acknowledge and recognize that there were people before us called Moors. Yes, but we're Moorish American. We're we're descendants of Moroccans born in America. We're a separate jurisdiction than anybody else that calls themselves Moors. We're our own jurisdiction, matter of fact. You know, because our, cl our, claim our claim really is North America. You know, we have a claim. We have a landmass that we can call our own. Yeah, Moors, Moroccans, you know, Berbers, 
African, Moors, Arabs, whatever. You know what I mean? You know, everything related to dark skinned people was us. But we're specific. You know what I mean? Right. He gave us identity to, 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 to trump the identity that we thought was identity. Right, because when 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 we, we also have claim to other places, to, right? to other places as well, we don't only have claim here as Moorish American. It's not the claim is not only here. You know, because we're really descendants of Moroccans, which you know above Mexico is Morocco. You know, we don't care about what over over there. North Africa or whatever. That's not what, you know, it's just like when people say Morocco and that's where they bring up. Like these idiots with this thing about calling the Moroccan embassy, they have this new this group of Moors now, calling the Moroccan embassy, asking the Moroccan embassy could, no, could, could, do Moors have permission to use Moroccan and where use the Moroccan flag and stuff like that. These are Moors. Fezazan. Making videos of phone calls, they have the, with the Moroccan embassy, and the Moroccan embassy telling them, you know, crap, more ish, and what's that, and you know, nah, you can't use the flag and all that stuff, and then they're gonna post that online in order to justify getting down with their fraud, right? That that they didn't ask the Moroccan embassy about their fake flag that they got. <laughs> How come they never asked the Moroccan embassy? Well, you don't, we don't, you don't recognize this flag when Moors have it. We have this flag. Do you guys recognize this flag and see what they say? I bet you they say no. What's that? You know what that flag is, right? But you know, our 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 people don't go that far. Our people, you know what? I think that thing has thing has a few. I think it has about a thousand or something like that hits or whatever. You know what I mean? And People are really going to like, hey, the Moroccan embassy doesn't recognize the Moors using the Moroccan flag. Oh, that's that can't be real then. All right, I mean, you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion, but nobody really taught the Moors. Opinion is no proof of truth, so they can give their opinion. I don't want to hear it. I ain't you trying to hear it. They can say whatever. They call whoever they want. I was telling somebody right now, you can come with some pictures that nobody draw these faggot and all that stuff. I don't care. This is birthright. I'm not throwing this away over some some foolishness. How is that? How how is it? How is it relevant? You know. Um, one of these questions a brother was asking about um the judges. The judges down here, where he is, trap you saying this isn't a U.S. Constitution Article Three court, and they only support states' constitution. So it seems like the only way out here is with the religious aspect, right? Because people are realizing that it's getting harder to exercise constitutional rights because these people are losing so much power that they're stopping anything having to do with anything constitutional but you know the guys is that will let the religious slide through and then Moors get on the mentality of okay well I guess the religious stuff works when we talked about this before religion is a constitutional right religion is not a religious right Right to religion is a constitutional right. So even if you go the religious route, you're still recognizing and acknowledging that constitution is really what is governing things. Right? And then um, for, for them to say that they only support states' constitution, right, that's a fraud because state constitution comes from national constitution. They can't have a state's constitution without a national constitution. And if they and if and if a judge is making a claim that they only support the state's constitution, it's for that individual who's a more 
to know that state's constitution and use that state's constitution, which is going to back up the national constitution in the state's constitution against these criminals. Because everything's going to tie back to the source. Everything's going to tie back to the source all the time. That too, right? Yeah, who's that? Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so right, because he's using keywords. So as soon as he says Renaissance, anybody who studies knows that he's talking about Mars. He's not talking about some Muslims that's going running around Mecca or whatever, taking Hajj. Right? Right? Yeah, but that's that's the play. Yeah, that's the play. Get people to think terrorists. When reality, he's talking about Mars. Even when he says Muslim, he's not talking about these people that we see that claim Muslim that wear hijabs and all that. He's not talking about them. But once you know, again, like we said in the beginning, um, Drew Ali, Drew Ali came to. Get the Moors to think for themselves. When you start think, thinking for yourself, you realize these guys been been playing us. That is a game that they're running. Yeah. Yeah. He's got to. <laughs> He's got to. <laughs> But but also too, yeah. But but keep in mind, right? Keep in mind that that you know he's doing that also as protection for himself. He's doing that so the people who are under him don't try to assassinate him, or the people who are over him. You know what I mean? Because you know they they could take him out. He's a threat. You talk about about. United States was founded by Islamic law and stuff like that. But then everybody around here is Christian. We got to talk about Jesus. Obviously, there's a conspiracy going on. If he's going to talk big like that, he's going to talk big like that, but then, you know, not do things constitutional. You know, have all these concentration camps all over the place. People want to take him to world court and all that stuff. When you're supposed to be constitutional, you're talking about all the stuff the Moors did. You know, got some more. set of questions um, I have written or oh, I'm comfortable with my knowledge so I'm wondering which writs would be first to properly write up and where to send them so with so when when um, the 
the main the main writ is writ of discovery to challenge the individuals who are writing to you on their status who they are where they get their authority from um, um, you know questioning their their validity right um, you're gonna send you're gonna send to the person who sent to you if it's a court issue or whatever like that they're gonna take you to court for something you're gonna send stuff to the court make sure the courts on notice um, and remember that the writ of discovery is going to the individual who sent you some. So if 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 uh, if collection agency sends you some saying pay or we're gonna take you to court tomorrow, right? And there's a date for court, then you're gonna send to those people that sent you something, and you're gonna send to the court and question them both. Of, of the same thing that you know who they are where they get the authority from blah blah because you need that it before you can pay for whatever they're demanding that you do right um, another thing with the Ritz is go to Moorish Nation Public Records dot com Moorish Nation Public Records dot com and study the writs on there because um, the writs that are on the Moorish Nation Public Records website are writs that have been used to, you know, shut down stuff. Like literally shut down stuff, offices, whatever. Just because they sent the writ, office closed, court closed for, you know, two days, three days. Anybody with stuff can't go to court because. Is there, is there a list of, um, yeah, you can get. Amari has that. Huh? The site, um, Moorish Nation Public Records. Yeah, there's C there's CC. You have a CC list, right? A CC list? Well, more or less. I have. Okay, it's who's who's involved. The boss's boss of the boss's boss. So. You send it to the administrative building, right? Who's their boss? The attorney general. Who's their boss? The, the prime minister or the, the premier. So the attorney general of Ontario, the attorney general of Canada, then they have bosses as well, too. So you send it to the bosses, 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 boss. You send it to the United Nations, depending on the matter that you have. If it's just like a credit matter, well, you keep it low level. But if it's something much bigger than that, Also, um, look at the fact that everything that that we do, as far as exercising our right, has to have your spirit in it before you even put it out. Before you even write it, your spirit has to be in it. Because if you're just gonna take some writs that you seen some guy had, you know, I mean, oh yeah, it sounds good or whatever like that, and you're just gonna take that. And just switch the name and you know just sign just because you know it applies that way you know that's not your writ and guarantee you these 33 whatever 32 degree masons who are judges all the lawyers whoever else guarantee as soon as they get the writ they already know whether you know what you're talking about or whether you copied something from somebody because they're scientists just like we're scientists they might be low-level scientists, but they know they got this science down. Just look at how they're ruling up there. They got this down. We don't got this down. You know what I mean? It, it's about to be. It's about to be 6:30. <laughs> Their stuff is going down right now. Millions of viewers, all that stuff. <laughs> Their ritual is going down. We're not even stopping their rituals from going down. They got so much voluntary people 
down with making sure that their rituals manifest that they could just they just throw it out there right you know yeah bro Many mores are many mores are, are there. You know what I mean? Many mores are there where where you know they implement certain things and you know like their rituals really manifest. You know what I mean? Like they put certain things out there and their rituals literally manifest for real. So it's not, you know, spooky and you can't, you know, do do things like that. Um which which is right in tune with the next couple questions. Um, uh, many many holidays like Christmas, etc. Uh, we are tricked about the true history of it. Um, tomorrow is Groundhog Day. <laughs> right, my son will go to school tomorrow, and they will talk to him about it. I remember when they talked about it when I was in school. Right, so you know, we already know that it's it's you know just another ritual, right, of them taking advantage of nature, doing stuff, and they create stuff based on nature, and then they have people chase the thing that they created, not nature, right, and and that and that's the pattern. Do something, have people follow the something that they're doing, not nature. And as soon as you start going down the road of what they're doing, as far as the ritual, that's where they get the power for the ritual to work. Yeah. Right. One form or another. Right, Mardu. And they're, and they're gonna, you know, they're, it's, 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 it's no. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, no different than Christianity about murder. Everybody following that. But, you know, what, but what, and no, and then when you check, when you check the play, who's the most people following that? The deaf people. And the deaf people always follow their dead rituals, right? To keep this European in power who's their God, instead of being their self, right? Um, another question. I've been reading a lot about Earth moving toward the fifth dimension and how everyone will not make it. What would entitle someone more than someone else to be qualified for the new Earth? Um, one of the things is melanin. You know, if you don't have the cosmic powers, then, you know, you can't exercise cosmic powers. <laughs> you need the powers to do it. 
you know, um, another thing is is the mind frame. Because, you know, there are some people who don't have the cosmic power, but, you know, they got more power than people who have the cosmic juice. You know, because it's bigger than, you know, the, 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 the new dimensions and things like that. It's bigger than a physical body. So it has nothing to do with whose complexion and all that, who's going to be in there, who's not going to be in there. It's whoever's spirit's right. Right? Um, now, the other question was with regard to, you know, um, how do we help the kids or whatever like that? Right? You know, the kids are baby goats. Just go check. Go in the dictionary. Look up kids. It'll tell you that kids are baby goat. So if, if the children are acting like animals today, we know that it's because Foot Locker, they got a kid section, they have a baby goat section. Um, Old Navy, they got baby goat section. Right? Everybody got a baby goat section. And we want to know how come the children act like animals. But if you're, you know, once again, rituals. Right? Because that's not our stuff. Calling, you know, you never call. Nobody gonna call me kid back in the day. I don't know what that is. Being called a kid, because you know, kids a baby goat. Like, why you gonna call? Why does somebody call me a kid? You know, and and they're an adult. Okay. They should know better, right? So we don't we don't demonstrate baby goats because it's a ritual to turn your children into animals. That, that's the play. And, it, and it's working when you go out there and look at some of these people out here. They got the animal behavior. Um, if you needed, if you become nationalized, how would you do commerce effectively? If you need to use your social security number to sign up for school, do you keep the social or does that and the birth certificate become invalid? All those things, those instruments that these people have given us are invalid, have been invalid. We just never knew that they were invalid. Now that we know that they're invalid, it's about stop calling it ours. That takes away its power. Start calling it their license. Start calling it their birth certificate, their social insurance number, their health card. If you start calling it like that, you would, you would deal with it differently because you're not putting a claim on it like, you, like it's your stuff so you don't feel guilty if you don't have it, which is the whole point. You're once again, ritual. Because you fill out the form, and your picture's on it, your signature on it, it's your stuff. But it's not really yours. Because they'll tell you, on it, this is the property of Ontario government or whatever like that. So obviously that's not yours. But if you claim it as yours, when it's not yours, then you're in violation. What about if you say, once you got your nationality card and... And if, and if and if and my position is if they don't recognize, we don't deal with them. 
But we don't need them to recognize our stuff. Like, we don't need to, you know, oh, we got a letter from, you know what I mean, Stephen Harper, and he says that he recognized the Moors, now we can be Moors. <laughs> <laughs> They're a corporation. They don't care, really. It's no different than... than right. It, 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 it's a... Destroy them. You know what I mean? They would rather... They would rather um, leave us alone than recognize what we're doing. If you have to deal with them, if you have to deal with them at all times, reserve your rights. But what we have is not to replace anything that that, that, that they give. We're our own we're our own existence. Right? We have a right to um, govern ourselves. We have that right to do that. Nobody can't say we can't govern ourselves, especially if we're doing it based on the five principles, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Everybody knows what those are. So nobody should have any argument with what the Moors are presenting. It shouldn't be an issue because first principle is love and who doesn't want that? Anybody? No hands? Okay, so then they should be down with this. If they're not down with this, obviously they're not for love. Obviously that's your enemy. By default. Because this is about love first. Well, no, nah, you guys don't love because you don't love your people. No, we love our people. We don't love our people calling themselves black. <laughs> we love our people. We don't have a problem with our people. Our people have a problem with dropping dead stuff. They love to hold on to dead stuff, like hoarders. Hold on to stuff. 500 years, you hold on to stuff. That has nothing to do with, with us. You know, just like we are saying, um, my license, my social, my whatever. That's your, yeah, mine. I applied for it, whatever that. So how come it says on there the property of somebody else if it's yours? Clearly that's not yours. And like I say, I have a passport. I'm not playing around with, you know what I mean, practice this or whatever. See if this works. Go over there and get kidnapped by these criminals. When I could just reserve my rights on a passport, show that I have no problems. Rights reserved. Any time you deal with these people. You know? Yes, in the perfect in the perfect situation. Right? If 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 this is really um um state constitutional sovereign authority and a national de jure republic then cast those things away because they're not needed but we're not living in a republic right now we're living in a democracy we're living in a corporation that has that has done everything that they can to have power in land that's not theirs and as soon as some individual starts standing up for this you know, everybody else is trying to denationalize these individuals standing up to be in the denationalized state that they're in under the guise of unity. But that's not unity. That's destruction. That's separation. We we have to we have to take take the position of not not being overzealous, you know, you're holier than thou. Just like, just like the Nwapian brother that came in here earlier, right? Um, two things. One, he was at the light, waiting for the light, right? Now, now remember, where we're at, this is our spot around here, right? We, we're out here, right? He's up the street. He doesn't know about down here. So we know that that light right out there, that light's not changing. 
if you don't push the button, <laughs> right? That light's not changing if you don't push the button, right? So I'm standing there, and you know, you know, cars coming, you no know, cars coming. So cross the street. <laughs> you know what I mean, red light, green light, whatever. Who cares, right? Sada brother, acknowledge brother, Rabbat, you know, Islam, whatever. Oh, that's not moral, man. Why are you doing that? What are you talking about? Why are you crossing the street like that? You know, it's, it's not, that's immoral. You should wait for a light or whatever. You know, children could be watching you cross the street in a, on a red light or whatever. I'm like, you know, that's corporate street sign right there. Oh, this has nothing to do with corporate. This has to do with moral or whatever like that. I'm like, well, you stay there, you wait for the light. <laughs> Went to the store, and then the light changed, and then, you know, you crossed or whatever. Came in here, right? So he came in here, sat here for a couple minutes. Went across the street to go get some wedges, right? Come back, killing these wedges, you know. <laughs> right? And this guy just turned around all the time, you know what I mean? You know, it's not like, you know what I mean? I thought I was... I think I was true and loud or nothing like that. <laughs> Disturbing nobody, you know what I mean? But then, you know, he got his scarf, you know what I mean? He had this scarf, like big scarf like this or whatever, you know what I mean? He wrapped the scarf around, you know what I mean? Got the scarf on. Yeah, scarf is hot up in here. <laughs> what you, what's up with this guy? Realized that, whatever reason, he doesn't like the smell of wedges or whatever. So he decided to leave. He was in here maybe like three minutes or something. Right? Potato wedges. <laughs> Potato wedges. Right? Went went against unity. Because he, he obviously came here for something. You know what I mean? Why, you know, he was in here before Potato Wedges. So obviously he came here for something. But, you know, decided to leave in three minutes or whatever. You know? And I know for a fact that, you know, it's going to be some talk, you know what I mean? You know, guys are coming, going to be coming or whatever, that the Moors are up here, you know, eating pork pizza or whatever like that, you know what I mean? When we just had some wedges. Right? Well, I mean, you know, for somebody to come to the temple and stay for three minutes and leave, you know, I question some stuff. <laughs> I mean, why even come? You know, and then what was the purpose of coming? And then how come, you know, just like, you know, when the Moors come in, the Moors come in, you know, Islam, you say what's up to everybody that's here. You know, you just came, sat in the back. You, know, you sit in the back. You got chairs all up front and stuff like that. Right? You sit in the back. And then not say nothing to nobody when you come in. Just come in on some stealth sit down. Type stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right? But we know what, we know what, you know, it's about, you know what I mean? You know, we know what it's about. It's about everybody wanting to be the man, you know, not give Noble Jolly his props. You know, same people talking, you know, free Dr. York and all this type of stuff. And, you know, he told them that they're Moorish Americans and all that, you know what I mean? He put Noble Jolly's holy book in the Nuwapian holy book so they can be clear and know exactly who Nobu Juali is, his picture and all that stuff. Malachi are going to court with fezes on and all that, but they're not paying attention to none of that. You know, they're Nuwapian. They don't have nothing to do with more. That's old stuff. And Doc doesn't deal with that no more. You know. Where is he? Oh. And he went back to whatever planet? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know where they said he went and all that kind of stuff, but they said that it's not um, the, the York that they have in custody or whatever. It's 36 or you know, 30 something. And the other York, the, the natural York, is 60 something. Yeah. And that's not the one that they have. So then, so, then how come, so then, how come they got a petition going around right now? That's what I was talking about free Dr. York or whatever. If know, that's a European. If that's a European in there, it's not the guy. Why do they have a petition going around right now that they're trying to get 100,000 signatures before 
December or um, February 29th or whatever like that. They're trying to get all these signatures to get him out there. They said it's. They said um, they're arguing on the thing, saying that um, they shouldn't be. They shouldn't be frauding the people and saying that George is in there. They should be saying you're either European, white, or whatever. Whatever. It's none of my business. I ain't known walking or nothing like that. That's their. That's their jurisdiction. Right. So, oh, one more thing too, just so we could do some black research on something. Um, group of black civil rights protesters arrested for sitting at counter in 1961. And you're going to do your research on a group of civil rights guys called Friendship Nine. And these are some guys that sat at some counter, black black guys sat at the white counter and then they got arrested for sitting at the white counter and then you know their stuff just got cleared after they did <laughs> after they did some they were in prison since 1961 or some crap they were for sitting at some counter <coughs> oh they're still black oh they're still black now now they now that they're free and they got their little whatever oh they're black for sure now <laughs> they're black for sure oh yeah you, you have that there still yeah 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 we could close out on that for the individuals who want to be wards of the state of the crown of the whatever because keep in mind that when we say when we say um you're not Negro, black, colored. We're saying you're not a ward. And remember that ward is not only that definition. Ward is also a jurisdiction that they, cre that they created in, um, you know, corporate cities. You know, ward 7, ward 8, ward whatever. And then that's a plantation that they house all their wards in. And once you... Oh, and then they have a ward right that takes care of the wards who aren't you know being children who want to be out of yeah, yeah. wardship or ward guarding care judge as the word of a captain go in the spring to watch the ward a division in the city of London special ward guardianship of the Hobbit territorial Adopted in most American cities by which municipalities separated into a number of precincts or districts called wards for purposes of police, sanitary regulation, prevention of fires, elections, etc. See state exploration in Calgary versus Aurora. Uh, corridor, room, or other division of prison, hospital, or asylum. A person, especially an infant, placed by authority of law under the care of the guardian. There's a wardship there too. Wardship. In military tenure, the right of the Lord to have custody as guardian of the body and land of the infant heir without any account of the property until he was 21 or she 16. In Suckage, the, the guardian was accountable for the property. Not the Lord, but the numerous relatives to whom the inheritance should not be sent. And the worship ceased at the same time. The copy holds the Lord of the Guardian, but when you have the crown of the Father, and then Warden, a guardian, a keeper, this is the name given to various officers. Various officers are warded. So, um, so this was day one of Moorish History Month. Our next session is going to be on Saturday at, I believe it's 2 p.m. with um, Brother Nature, Grand Chief Nature El Bay from Ashbury Park. If you're not familiar, you can go on um, YouTube to MSTA. MST online um, and the brother who uploads 
all Grand Chief Nature's classes is Divine L Bay. So Divine L Bay, MST online, or uh, YouTube search Grand Chief Nature L Bay. All these classes, whatever stuff like that, come up. Um, anybody have any questions, comments, or anything like that? Saturday, yeah. Saturday, Saturday, come seven. Uh, one or two o'clock. We'll be here from probably one or something. Yeah, Skype. Skype, yeah. Um, Grand Chief Nature did the um, Saturday lecture for Drew Ali Day. Yeah. So we had a lot of feedback from that. Yeah, the Skype. Yeah, yeah, yeah Saturday. Yeah. And Sunday, um, Sunday the 8th, we're going to be at um, the Scarborough spot. 2467 Eglinton to do a Skype here yeah, where we are Drew Ali Day. We're going to have um, a Skype with um, um, Seth and Rabe on the 8th. That one's going to be at 1 o'clock as well. Yeah, at the community center. So Islam to all the Moors worldwide. All the Canaan land moors, all the moors online, all the moors that sent questions. Continue to study, continue to accept the teachings of the noble prophet, Drew Ali, because he was on song. You know what I mean? And the, the days of denying him are over. So Islam to all. Give thanks to everybody being here. We'll just close out with the prayer. And any... Any building that has to happen, you can do that when the prayer is done. Five on the left, two on the right. A lot of Father of the Universe. A lot of Father of the Universe. Father of Love. Father of Love. Truth. Truth. Peace. Peace. Freedom. Freedom. And justice. And justice. Allah is my protector. Allah is my protector. My guide. My guide. And my salvation. And my salvation. By night. By night. And by day. And by day. With his holy prophet. With his holy prophet. Noble Jawali. Noble Jawali. Islam. Islam. Hey, um, no more. Uh, these ones, uh, these ones, uh, these ones? Oh, yeah.